टी आर मिंगल वेलकम टू द स्ट्रीम आज हम थोड़ा सा कुछ डिफरेंट करने वाले हैं आज हम स्मर्व करने वाले ठीक है हम लोअर ब्रैकेट्स की जनता को देखते हैं वो एक्चुअली करते क्या है तो चैंपियन नहीं पहुंच पाए अब तक स्ट्रगल कर रहे हैं आगे बढ़ने के लिए प्लेटिनम हो डायमंड हो ये जो लोअर ब्रैकेट के पब्लिक है उसको क्या माइंडसेट होता है वो क्या सोचते हैं क्या करते हैं वो कैसे फार्म करते हैं क्या करना चाहिए उन्हें उनको देखते हैं Without further ado, let's go and check out this smurfing. Smurfing. What is smurfing? Smurfing basically when you create an alternate account of yourself to be taking part in the regular championship and the regular missions that you have. All right. Now, as we get into the game, let's discuss what smurfing is all about. Smurfing is basically the meaning of a player who opens a new account and logs back in. He is already aware of a lot of the matchmaking process and all about the game, but he wants to learn other roles. So suppose a guy already who's a marksman, who already knows how to play the marksman in a certain role and has already achieved certain laurels uh, from his previous account, makes a new account on the same game and is playing the game as a different role. So you are gaining experience of a different role. in the new account in gaming playing a game that you already have the experience with from a new account often making very quick progression and intimidating opponents this is known as smurfing let's talk a little bit about the laning mindset of low rank players basically a low rank players are not aware of what lanes to be chosen and what lanes go to each role and how to handle these roles in which lane do these roles have to be taken roles preferably are five roles that are there in the game which is mm support mid lane uh, mid laner and ds laner ds laner hands for the tank or the Attack warrior lane enemy. the jungle which is the jungler lane the mage which is the mid laner in the current game you can see that we have three assassins one warrior assassin one assassin and a one mage assassin we we are missing the uh the tank in this game so the roles are not really correct to be a balanced game situation here in the lower ra uh, rank player ranges people generally tend to take the comfortable picks that they are able to play and understand and they can handle their s1 s2 s3 as soon as they are chosen which is the reason why the picks are unbalanced and unbiased speaking of which when the team is unbalanced and unbiased generally what people tend to do the common mistakes made are taking two mages or taking Attack two mms uh, people do not understand that each role has to be fulfilled in the game and because they are unaware and they are new to the game they Uh, tend to take uneven picks that's most one of the most common mistakes uh, made by new players when they are smurfing not technically smurfing but playing with new heroes and new players another one of the most common mistakes is after taking a a role of a mm for example they tend to start taking the jungle without taking a jungle item players such as valheim are often spammed and then they don't know what to do and because they don't want to take a fight against other real players they start taking the jungler's gold and there we lose a sort of a situation where we are able to understand how to play the role of the mm now let's talk about what hero role is meant to go for what lane the mm and the support generally go together in the abyssal dragon lane the mage tends to go in the mid lane and the ds laner goes in the top lane the jungler who takes the jungle item in the beginning of the game Attack could be enemy. an assassin or a warrior jungler goes in the jungle lane which is in between all the three lanes ab hum discuss karte hain thode roles ke bare mein 
उनके आइटम बिल्ड्स के बारे में और कौन सा सूट करता है कौन सी बिल्ड को क्या आइटम पहले हम डिस्कस करते हैं जंगलर के बारे में जंगलर का रोल होता है जंगल में जाना और टीम को गोल्ड दिला के देना उसके काम के लिए उसको जंगल आइटम बनाने में बहुत महत्वपूर्ण चीज़ होती है जंगल आइटम वो बेसिकली सोल रिवर होता है स्कॉचिंग विंड होता है और मेजरली ये दो आइटम्स होते हैं लेने के लिए मैंने आपके एक सामने यहाँ पर कॉमन बटरफ्लाई हो गया नैक्रॉथ हो गया जैनिस हो गया आपको कॉमन हीरोज सामने दिखाए हैं और उनके हिसाब से उनके बिल्ड्स के हिसाब से दिखाए हैं स्कॉचिंग विंड जनरली हमको एम एम जंगलर पे ऊपर लेना लेना चाहिए जैनिस के ऊपर लिवाइथन भी बन सकता है बटरफ्लाई के ऊपर लिवाइथन भी बन सकता है बट जनरली सारे जंगलर के लिए हम लेते हैं कोई ना कोई एक जंगल आइटम जो स्कॉचिंग विंड लिवाइथन और सारे आपको अभी एक्सप्लेन कर देते हैं उसके साथ जो आइटम होता है जिससे आप ये चीज़ें खरीद सकते हो उसको पनिश लेना पड़ता है वो पनिश के बिना जंगलर जंगलर नहीं कहा जाता सिर्फ असैसन रह जाता है फिर उसको डी एस जाना पड़ता है बाकी सारे हीरो के बिल्ड्स में जो कस्टम हीरो लिए जाते हैं इस गेम के अंदर जनरली बाई नए प्लेयर्स के साथ वो होता है वैलहाइन क्रिक्सी थेन आर्थर इन लोग के बिल्ड्स कॉमन मैंने आपको यहाँ सामने दिखा दिया है द लास्ट थिंग वी नीड टू डिस्कस इन दिस इज द मोस्ट पिक हीरोज इन द सेट ब्रैकेट एंड हाउ टू काउंट दैन जैसे वैलाइन हो गया क्रिक्सी हो गई सपोर्ट के लिए थेन हो गया डी एस लेनर के लिए आर्थर हो गया उसके लिए काउंटर करने के लिए क्या पिक्स लेनी चाहिए अगर मार्क्समैन वैलहाइन आ गया तो आप टेलेनास ले सकते हो थोड़ा सा रेंज रख सकते हो उससे तो टेलेनास से काउंटर हो जाएगा और दूसरे भी मार्क्समैन हैं जो आपको मिल जाते हैं अर्ली गेम में जिससे आप तुम उनको ले आप वैलहाइन को काउंटर कर सकते हो मार्क्समैन को काउंटर करने के लिए मार्क्समैन और सपोर्ट लेना चाहिए सपोर्ट को काउंटर के लिए ऑब्वियसली मार्क्समैन होना चाहिए सपोर्ट में और थोड़ा सा अपना बिल्ड को ध्यान रखते हुए उसको जैसे थेन आ गया तो उसके अगेंस्ट हमको लंबर ले लेना चाहिए या ले सकते हो आप क्रेस्ट ले सकते हो और अगर मेज आ गए जैसे क्रिक्सी आ गए क्रिक्सी बस सीसी होता है तो सीसी के हिसाब से देखा जाए तो तुम एल्यूमिया ले सकते हो या दूसरी या नतालिया ले सकते हो तो आप पे डिपेंड करता है आप कौन सा हीरो आपको काउंटर के लिए लेना चाहिए डी एस लेनर के लिए आपके लिए आप हमारे एक्चुअली चैनल के अंदर दूसरे भी वीडियोस हैं जहाँ से आप देख सकते हो यहाँ पर मैंने ऊपर लिख पॉइंट कर दिया आपको आप हर एक रोल के लिए आप हमारे रोल सीरीज़ और एक्सप्लेनेशन सीरीज़ में देख सकते हैं हमने क्लियरली एक्सप्लेनेशन किया है हर एक रोल का और कैसे उसको बिल्ड देखना चाहिए और कैसे बनाना चाहिए सब एक्सप्लेन किया है Good bands, good bands all round. Meta bands, very good. Opponents turn to pick. It's your turn to pick. I will see my destiny Opponents to the end. Opponents turn to pick. Your team's turn to pick. Opponent's turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining.
So we do have a balanced team right now. Uh बस खेल लेते थोड़े गेम I got to work. to Natalia who's come to my rescue. My support is like a guard. But kind of the game just me and Natalia herself. Help, help, help. Ouch! So, and take fights towards people you know you can take fights with. Or else, there is no saving you. Know when to take your fights, know who to take your fights with. You see over here, I'm trying to just farm. That's it. That's all I'm going to do is just farm for a little while so that I can actually get the items to defend myself. Almost got enough items to defend myself. Your 
Now I think I can take a tank also because I've got my Muramasa. You see here, right now, because I've got higher stop, I'm able to take them by two shots, three shots. about it one of the most epic things you can do while you're actually taking any kind of a uh, player when you're taking on a smurf account or actually you new player take an mm which you can actually have enough damage you should farm the idea of the mm is to farm properly so that you can actually take it forward and be able to generate kills for your team so that even if someone is lagging behind they are able to actually support you. not they you are able to support them be the carry be the real carry of the game the idea is to be able to manage to take kills as much as possible All right. See, it's platinum to veteran leader, so you can't join me here. Moving this forward. To be honest, I should try this uh, again. Yeah, I can do five man lobby, but hey, who? How many people are here for five man lobby? You have players. You can come join me. Okay, I'm So after the update, did you guys like the uh, changes apart from the? Um, Your team's turn to ban. Did the lobby ban make any difference? Quickly ban tank crack. We don't want him causing a problem. Let's take down the assassin, which is the Zill, which will be a problem for the MM. So your bans should be pretty accurate when you're taking a smaller level uh, position. Your Try and ban to pick. things that you're afraid of, that you can't really do it. Hmm. Do you really like the new update, is it? Good to know. Opponent's turn to pick. It's your turn to pick. What a name, Power of Tati. <laughs> I 
power of 30. Okay, Valen's gone. We have Pure on the game. We have a Zanist coming back now. And. Your team's turn to pick. Might as well take jungle when we have it. Opponent's Building the build pick. is important, so let's take the top of build. I already have the build. Process. Let's go pick. the same thing generally what you need to do is basically always check out the enchantment package and you've got the most suggested whether it is a popular build or a popular build too and also the build that you have you always check it once with your po normal popular build even though you have it done and we have attack speed in place for now because i need the speed to basically handle the enemies let's go Welcome to Clash of Titans! Prepare to engage. So let's see if I can do a flawless victory on this one. So we have a balanced team for sure. Look at Arthur, look at Arthur, look at Arthur, look at Arthur, look at Arthur. He goes in for the kill and he dies himself within the tower. What's up, crazy boy? How are you doing, bro? Look at Lumber. Only the righteous will prevail. Why have I not caught in my While hitting the damage to the dragon, when he does that swipe thing, just put your S2. See, he'll cancel the S2 halfway. Everybody's taking a fight, so I might as well take the blue. So the blue can be available to someone else possibly. An enemy has been defeated. You have defeated an enemy. I don't know how I already have lifesteal because I have not taken any items to take lifesteal but yes I do have lifesteal right now because I can notice that when I am handling the
defeated. Yeah, right. All he needed to do was activate his. And he killed. Ah oh, man. Are can I live stream that? No, no. Are can I live stream? No, no. Ultimate. Are can I was not live stream? I haven't even heard jungle lighting yet. Your team has destroyed a tower. What did I make till now? I made some boots and I made nothing else. Yet. So Arthur and Valine are pushing and taking the mid lane, taking down the towers in mid lane. Though top is being pushed because nobody is there to handle that the pressure. But Valine is about to. I think Valine is going on top to take the tower. Well, and smart. Thank you, Valheim, for not taking my jungle. Very rarely you get such kind of a situation where a Valheim who's in the supporting, not supporting, as an MM, not taking your jungle, and he's letting you take your own. That's brilliant. Be happy about it and try and make use as much as you can so that you can finish your jungle so that he can start jungling as well because as long as if your mm starts to able to jungle and able to the single damage value that he might get is different level that was an outplay a little bit by Your team has destroyed a tower. Only the righteous will prevail. has been defeated. Only the righteous will prevail. Let's fight for a better future. Your team has destroyed a tower.
I'll give them enough jungle for them to manage themselves now. Another reason is we are 28, so that's another reason why we are above and beyond the enemy scope of even playing with us. That's about it. Neeraj, no, I have not found out anything about our next match and I think we will not be... The only thing is you have to be careful what you pick for. So now you see, we have a very balanced system in place. We have a support, we have a mage, we have a, a, a DS laner, we have a, a, a jungler and we have a marksman. In fact, the other team, there is no fault with the other team as well. So this is going to be a tough game. Let's see how it goes. Welcome to Clash of Titans. At the end of the day, no matter how you play, whether you're a lower tier or a higher tier, you should know your combos also when you're playing them. You should know your builds. You should know who you're against, up against. So knowing your up against players to actually be able to handle yourself in the game is very stop. important. You see, TB and Raz are trying to gank on the uh, the L'Oreal. Though they will not be able to take the kill in such an early game situation, but yes, it is worth a shot. Trying to poke her down, get her damage. So, that is... so you see, the enemy is just shifted their focus and trying to take the top tier where it's not... Uh, uh, top tier. At this situation, to be honest, Scud will not be able to take both of them together. So technically, our uh, uh, teamy and uh, this thing should come down. I'm just trying to take a gank at them, trying to push the help scud out. First blood. So you see, that's what happened in the first blood because Raz went in uh, way too early and I have not even uh, been able to finish my jungle yet, which is a bad sign for me. Uh, as these people at the bottom lane are not able to understand by seeing the map that uh, and they see only one hero so they are thinking that maybe they can take down the hero and take down the tower but that's not going to happen that way so we've got two down it's a bad situation for us but then see the presence of mind for players is not prevalent Tonight, I'm not going to discuss about how the hero is going to be played. I'm going to be generally talk about the laning, the aspect of how we have to be particular about how we take our lanes and what is to be pushed and how we to be pushed. Raz is still trying to fight the mage, but he's still going to die. And someone's going to come in the middle and, and put him down, which is exactly what happened. We are already 4-0. Our team is literally uh, not able to pursue the lanes. I'm just going to focus on farming, give ourselves a gold advantage as much as possible. So now Arduin has not shifted his lane and uh, it's a fight between Nakroth and these people have CC also as well. Raz has come and helped me out. And we were able to defeat the enemy. Luckily, this fight is for another kill. Which was a smart move to stick there around, but they still got the kill on Telenas. The point of the jungler is to be able to literally take as many jungle items and objectives as possible. That is what I am focusing to do. 
so when we have when we have to understand so in front we see definitely there are two items two guys who are going to live steal including l'oreal so it will be a wise decision right now for the mm and the mage uh also me late game to make a support item which is a heal item so that they do not regen their themselves while playing the game regen is a very 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 big situation in the game that they uh, we have to be countering to it's not easy to just uh, take kills and just be normal you have to be understanding of how to be countering a regen situation so right now you see uh do he is going back he is going to go back i'm going to focus so that he is not going to be able to reach me he is going to be recalling here no he is there Start join me in the fight, but we can't really do anything. Since they've already pushed the bottom tower, I'm going to since there are two players here, I'm going to think of focusing over uh, the situation at this tower. No matter the how long it takes, support I is actually fight. defending this tower as much as possible. There are two players here who are trying to defend the tower. Laurel is going to come down and focus no, on trying to get uh, some advantage over me, but I'm not going to allow that. Scud is in a bad situation. I need to go and help Scud, otherwise we will lose the tower, and I do not want that. Yes, we were not able to take the tower. He was able to pursue the situation, and Scud is going inside. I'm going to just handle. Maybe Scud can take him down. I'm going to take the tower here, but no, I'm not able to because the minions are not there. I have to wait for the minions to take the tower, which I will eventually. Even though I we have So I've got a little bit of movement speed, but I was not able to handle myself, and I did not even get uh, his ult, so I couldn't really uh, handle itself, handle myself in that situation, and I died. Now we don't have a pressure. I can easily jungle my heart content, and I will not go in a fight until I finish my jungle. Even if we die, we still have towers to be able to play, so not an issue. And I let the uh, team want to be able to take the. Kills. I will jungle till then so that I can become a one-shot hero at the end. Who to fight, when to fight them. Double kill. So you can see it very clearly that Talanas is able to now handle herself because her gold is also higher about the kills that he's taken. So as many kills as you take, the gold increases. There you go, you see? Commandable you know. You know, very good. Where have you done with the game? Brilliant. Good job. Victory. I've almost answered all questions that I had to answer. I should just check if I have to deal the highest damage in my team. I think Kalnas dealt highest damage in my team. I have ranked up one sub tier. I have done some damage to damage. The universe unfolds around me.